The lead pastor, a glorious Liberty Church, Richard Osanoye, has urged Nigerians to tap into the endless opportunities that year 2024 has to offer. With a plea to Nigerians to focus more on God. He made this known in his New Year message to Nigerians in the chats with newsmen in Abiyokuta, the Ogun State Capital. Have faith in God. Understand that 2024 is a promising year of opportunity. Talking from real estate to e-commerce, online businesses, endless. For me, I think it is not about what you do. It's about what God positioned you to know how to do. If you say granite in 2024, all you need is the blessing of God on it. For Joseph, the Bible said the Lord was with Joseph. Everything he does became successful. So my focus is God being with you, and there is nothing you do that will not be successful. If God be with you, and open your mind up, real estate will be in another form. I believe 2024 is a year of money. It's a year of finance. Because there is a lot of opening that people are creating. Those who are traveling out of the country, selling of properties. So all those openings will be there. So it will be exclusively reserved for those who are prepared to take advantage of opportunities. Speaking on the state of the nation, the clergyman urged government at all levels to put in place policies that will make life comfortable for Nigerians. I think one of the best things the government can do is, um, you know, sometimes people have money, but there are policies that does not support their business. Number one, electricity is key, especially those who are going into manufacturing. There is so much money you are, if, if, um, if, if the floor price or the, floor, the price of the pump is high, then if there is an alternative. Imagine if there is PXCN that somebody can take advantage of. But all of these things are not working. So it has put a lot of people in a lot of tight corners, you know. So, and our advice to the government is they should check this generation, especially those who are going to manufacturing, and let there be policies in place to help them, like maybe some needs soft loan, some needs an, um, a conducive atmosphere for their business to thrive. I believe with a financial empowerment and conducive atmosphere, there are a lot of intelligent people that can do greater might. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.